Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sewing a pair of French Terry lounge shorts. I have the back side of the shorts laid out. I'm going to take the front piece and put those right sides together. You'll be able to tell the back from the front because the back piece has a longer inseam to help shape the booty. We are going to sew down the side seam. I'll be using a serger. If you don't have one, you can use the zigzag stitch on your regular machine in place. Iron and press the seam towards the back of the garment. With right sides together, we'll pin our inseam and sew. Using a tailor's ham, I press the seam to the back of the garment. Flip one side of the shorts inside out. We're going to join them right sides together and pin along the crotch seam. Sew the seam together using a serger or a zigzag stitch. It doesn't matter which side you press it to, but press your seam to the side. Putting my serger knife up, I'm going to finish off the raw hem of the waist. Once that's pressed, we're ready to make our casing for the elastic. I'm using one and a half inch elastic, so I'll want the measurement for my casing larger for the seam allowance. Using a seam gauge ruler, I press the casing at one and three fourths inches. We want to leave a two inch opening at the back of the shorts to insert our elastic through. Sew down the casing with a straight stitch. Using the measurement of your waist, you'll cut the elastic minus two to three inches. You want the elastic to be smaller than your waist measurement so it fits snugly and won't slip off. Use a safety pin to hook into the elastic and help pull the elastic through the opening we left in the back of the shorts. Carefully pull the elastic through and make sure the elastic doesn't flip in the casing. Once you've pulled the elastic through the opening and you're sure it's not twisted, you'll be able to sew the two ends together. Close the opening of the casing with a straight stitch. To add the top stitching to the waistband, I use a straight stitch and increase my stitch length to 3.5. As you're sewing, you will have to stretch the elastic so the fabric lies flat. Guide the fabric through your machine. Once you let go, the fabric naturally gathers. I move my needle to the left and use the first stitch as a guide to make my second stitch. My waistband is one and a half inches wide with two rows of stitching half inch apart. To finish up the hem of the shorts, I'll be folding up twice half inch towards the wrong side of the shorts and then stitch in place. I hand baste the hem of the shorts to hold it in place for when I do the final stitch.
I'll be swapping out my regular needle for a twin needle. A twin needle has two needles, so you'll need an extra spool of matching thread. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in an in-depth tutorial on sewing with a twin needle. Working from the right side of the garment, I stitch the hem in place. Remove the basting thread. One final press and then these shorts are finished. Thank you so much for watching.